Alrighty everyone, I am back with another Papa Smokeria 2 Go gameplay video. This is Fredbearcorn25 coming to you live from the Fredbearcorn25 HQ. Alright, we're good? We're good. Alright, let's start. Alrighty everyone, I am back with another Papa Smokeria 2 Go gameplay video. This is Fredbearcorn25 coming to you live from... Oh. I already gave that intro already. Alright, so... We are currently back with another Papa Smokeria gameplay video, so we are finally up to Summer Luau. Alright, so we got Toga and Serena all prepped and ready for the summer season, which is about to end in less than a month from now. No, more than a month from now. But in here, the summer season has just begun. Alright, and we also got the Butterscotch Granita from Wylam B prepared, so we're all good. That's cool. That's also nice. And we got Lapeet starting out rather than Utah. And nice cold pina colada milk. Don't know why on earth would that be the freaking milk. But whatever, I won't judge. Alright, it's a cool thing that Raylan, Lapeet, and Sarge Fan are not closers. That's a good thing. How you doing there, Lapeet? Nice coconut. Bowl hot. You don't say much, do you? Yeah, he doesn't say much. Alright, so I have to apologize with the last video. I honestly did not like the video at all. Because I mostly had a huge amount of loss of words. And I just felt like it was just all over the place. So, I was almost considering on deleting the video. But then I was like, you know what? Maybe I should try to re-record a new part two of the recording so i tried again and i liked it better even though i still found the video pretty garbage i still decided to just upload it anyway all right hey there sienna haven't seen your face in a while all right that's good So yeah, so if you haven't read the description of the previous video, so this is what happened. So I immediately filmed the unlocking all the Cinco de Mayo toppings immediately after I uploaded the video. But however, I didn't like the way on how it was going, so I re-recorded another part two. And I didn't like that either, so then I tried again for a third time. And I kind of liked it a little bit better, but I was kind of hesitant. To even upload the video or not so I took a break for a few days and then I decided to return back and I finished editing the video but when it was time for me to um, review it one more time before I upload it it was time for my family and I to take a vacation so I did not have Wi-Fi at all so I couldn't upload the video so I have to greatly apologize for that I'm sorry damn the pizza mocha is really amazing can you even qualify this as a mocha anymore? It's more like a tropical drip, that is. Alright, so we're very close to ending the series right now. So, what's left is Starlight Julebee, Groove Stock, and then... Oop! Sugarplex Film Fest. And we're good as gold. Hey, Dino. Here to show off your new outfit and everything? Sure am, bud. I'm very happy that I finally got all those three stickers that I needed in order to unlock my secondary outfit because it was locked inside a chest and I lost the key and everything. But luckily, with the golden gift from Vincent that just so happened to be purple, I was able to unlock my outfit again. Well, that's good to hear. Come on, Lapeet. If you pull out your coconut bowl hat with coconut milk pour out, I want to see that. Alright, let's make a butterscotch granita. Do I need it? Oh, Am I under control? Can I beat it? Wake up! If it's swollen me whole, would I see it? I can make you feel alive. I know, but do I need you to survive? <laughs> Just a sip. Does it still matter which one? Just a drip. <laughs> there you go, you got yourself a butterscotch granita. You know what? I want to give Sienna some mocha without any cannoli. She doesn't deserve anything. But what did I do wrong? 
Um, how can you somehow hear me? Because everyone has their inside voices somehow connected, you know, from your mind telepathically. You're creepy, Sienna. No, I'm, no, I'm creepy. All right, cool. We got a perfect score. That's nice to know. All right, so I also looked up on the Flipbun Studios wiki. Turns out I actually have a few, three customers who favor Cinco de Mayo that are actually time filler customers. With that being Mesa, Matt, and Olga. I did not unlock them during the Cinco de Mayo holiday. And I think the reason for that is because I ranked up too early for... Because of the one of the last special recipes I had. I can't remember what it was though. Fruity Moose, that was it. Okay, whoever's out there, you're not getting served yet. Because Dino in a special outfit needs the special treatment. Alright. Don't let your pickiness come back to you, Dino. Awesome. Alright, so as I was Oh, hey, there's some on. Oh, and you want a butterscotch granita. That's awesome. I like chocolate milk. I like chocolate milk. I'm a little bit worried that Brody is going to be the last customer to be unlocked. And I think that's going to end up happening. Because since I'm ranking up too quick, I can guarantee you that it's bound to happen. All right, so I purposely bought and brought Pinch Hitwell to the mocharia because I need to give him some peach cream for his mocha. Ain't that right, baby? Oh. Here you go, Rhonda. Nice truck and driver's outfit and everything. I don't think it matters for the cannoli or the mocha. We'll just um, put it in for any single one of them. Yeah, I could actually bring him, make him bring a special recipe. But yet, if I bring in the peach cream, I'm worried that he won't give me the special recipe. And this will cause me to lose out on another good one. So unfortunately, I had to bring him here right now. Alright, I just want to have that moment where um, I don't really speak too much. Alright, Simone. Nice. Enjoy that butterscotch granita. Alright, so I am not picking up the phone. Please leave the message after the tone and everything. Yeah, I just wanted to give you guys a moment where it's nothing but peace and quiet. Because I know I talk way too much in the Mokaria videos and everything. Or at least every time whenever I edit the video, it's always like that. So I just wanted to give you guys a little peace and quiet. As long as the phone is not ringing though. Oh my god, I can't believe I forgot. It's pinch hit well. And well, I gotta give him the cannoli one for the nozzle. Hopefully that counts. Yeah, it's interesting on how pinch hit well. He was a closer in Papa's Hot Dog area. And then afterwards, he was like, no, nope, I'm not picky anymore. I'm just gonna... Become a non-closer. You know, I wouldn't be surprised if, similar to Akari, he's gonna become a closer again. Cause, that's also bound to happen. Oh, Damn it. Well, whatever, I'm not restarting the game. Cause I had enough of restarting the games over certain stuff. Okay, do gotcha. Still hunting down Mortadello and taking down his business and everything. Chillin' bud? Well, it looks like Duke Gotcha. I, from, I forgot, is that his quote from his flip deck? I remember he does say a quote like after he ends up closing out a statement or something like that or after he captures the bad guys and everything. No, expose the bad guys. It's like how Margaret from regular show, he says, Margreg, Mar gets the bad guys. 
Oh, shoot. Alright guys, so I want to give you guys a little quick of an update with the upcoming animations and all that stuff. So, right now for the Aston movie fan animation, I made progress like like a good amount. So, I'm currently right up to the part 2 of Mr. Muffin, where he asked the fat guy to eat him. And then I'm actually going to have Big Polly play as him. Because I don't really have any fat characters, nor- Actually, no, I do, but I just don't want to use him. It's that guy who appeared in that Kool-Aid killer video. Oh, I know I'm not gonna get a perfect score. You know what? Forget it. I want to have it- I want to make sure that this is a perfect day and everything. Because every single character that came into the Mocha today, they all like their mochas 100%. So you know very well I'm gonna have to make one that's perfect for Duke Gotcha. Well it looks like that Duke Gotcha. So yeah, so then I skip ahead a little bit. I haven't worked on the Mr. Muffin part 2 part yet. So I went up to the allergic one. You know the, hey baby are you an angel? Because I'm allergic to feathers and then he vomits. And then I also got the I'm a very tall midget part and then some parts of the turn your frown upside down. Alright, so I got some good progress done, so it should be done within the next few weeks, I would say. And then the next one will probably be either the Ask the Movie 14 or 8, or it could be the Computer Nerd Animation one. That one will be nice. And then afterwards, the long-awaited McKinley Speedway will be in production. I know I said that it was in production after that damn yard sale, but... Um, I haven't got all the audio footage yet, so I apologize for that. Alright, good. It was worth it. So yeah, I have to greatly apologize for that. So, it's gonna be a very big, intense animation. Like, there's gonna be a huge amount of stuff that's gonna be happening in that one. Can't spoil it, though. But you, you can say it would be slightly similar to that of the first one. Alright, so, um, also, when I was not recording, I finally got Coley to bring in a special recipe, so she brought in the Nebulous Nimbus, which I have a huge feeling that I have to serve it to a character. Don't know who, though. Alright, Pally, you need to come into the Mokaria this instant. Ooh, nice, um, holiday outfit. I think out of every single one of them, that one is definitely my favorite. We see you. All fall, your troubles are miles away. We see you all fall, and in our eyes, you're safe. Maybe I should have sung that when I was doing in gameplay, but whatever. All right, we got a time customer finally, Olga, and mango powder. That's nice. Sure, Hacky Zack would love that. Of course, I know that you love Cinco de Mayo, Olga, so, um, I don't know why did you bother coming during Summer Luau. Whatever, we don't hate people here. At all. Except for Quinn. Except you. Alright, we're good. We're good. No, wait, that's Ol- Wait, I'm gonna give two coffees to Olga. No. If you don't mind, just giving- Just give that to Carlo Romano. I mean, that's the true reason why he doesn't like coffee. It's because he gets a coffee overload. That's what uh, Alley Cat explained in her chain in her video. You know, for the music uh, interlude, like when I speed up the footage, why don't we just play some tropical music that's played in South Park when the when the police officers were doing their uh, luau? Yeah, that will be perfect.
Now your drink is definitely gonna look more like a pina colada there, Lapeet. Including the mango powder and everything, it definitely looks perfect. Oh my god, Dino is starting to come up, uh, come out a lot more. Why, does he like the holiday? No, he doesn't. That's, I guess he really loves to show off his outfit. He just loves it so much, he just wants to come here just to show it to me. Oh, and um, also, in case if you're wondering... Um, how did I come up with the names Toga and Serena for the characters? So for Toga, um, don't make fun of me, but actually I still kind of support Yandere Simulator. And yeah, one of the characters' name is Toga, and I just like, you know what, I, I can't really think of any other good names. And plus I didn't want to have custom my characters to have the same names as the customers in the game. So I just chose that. Alright, Lapeet, don't let your pickiness come back again. Perfect. If you want to knock out Lafitte, that that mocha is definitely the energy that you needed. Though I highly doubt so. I mean, you would probably side with him. I mean, if you were in another Papalui game, you might actually side with him. You might actually become the mutant version of it. Like, you drink a potion and then you... What the hell? The fan is actually clipping through in Sienna's neck. Do you see that? What the hell is going on? What is wrong with you, Sienna? Alright, Pally is set to come anytime soon. Hopefully she still doesn't stay indoors because that's what she's been doing every single time. Why? I guess she's doing some luau or some Photoshop pictures for the summer vacation. Actually, I think she's more like a fashion icon or something like that. I don't know. Actually, even in the sneak peek of like making your own Papalu Pal characters flip decks, I don't even know if um that flip deck is considered canon or not. I honestly don't think it really should, but yeah. And then for Serena, I just couldn't really think of any other good names for a girl, so I just chose Serena. And plus, I also figure why not just name her after the Williams sisters, you know, Venus and Serena Williams from Tennis, the US Open. That was the only other good names I could think of. And I have three characters named Serena. Two Impopoli Pals and one that is a inspired OC of Benny and the Ink Machine. But however, the second Serena is now named Sadie now. Alright, Dino. Dino? Dino! Alright there, Sienna. You should be very satisfied with it. You know, I didn't even line the... The nutcrackers or anything. Oh, thank you, Pally, for coming over. At least finally Toga can actually see your outfit this time. And he looked magnificent in that one. But yeah, also in uh, Papalui Pals, the one thing I kind of really want for um, when it comes to selecting the customers, I mean, say for example that you had a hu you have a huge amount of customers in your uh, inventory or something like that, and you want to include that in your scene, rather than having to swipe all the way down just to get all of the characters that you created from the beginning. Why not just create like a uh, page and something like that? You know, you can just flip through the arrows and all that stuff. And you can easily f find your customer rather than just having to scroll all the way down for it. If anything, that would make Popoly Pals a little bit better. I could live in an artisanal house and live in an artisanal life. I'm driving an artisanal car. It'd be a treat to see of what you think of me. I don't even know the rest of the lyrics of Jack Stauber's song of freaking um, artisanal bread. I can't, I can't remember. Dang it. Yeah, lately I've been listening to a lot of Jack Stauber's songs, and I really, really enjoy every single thing that he made, including um that one project that he did on Adult Swim, um, Shop, a pop opera, and even Opal. Man, Opal is actually pretty dark. I'm not going to actually spoil it to you for anyone who wants to watch it, but I definitely recommend checking it out. Hooray! I just hope that next time, Pally will come in with a special recipe. Because I'm sick and tired of constantly having to bring her in just so that way we can just show, her, show off her outfit or anything like that. We need more than that, Pally, for the Mokaria life. You know that! Oh, 
Oh, definitely, if, there's no way on how Daniela should complain about that. I mean, who the hell would complain if your coffee was out of line like that? There's no reason for you to complain at all. Come on, Daniela. I know through telepathically. I can read your mind and everything. And I and I oversee a site that you're actually going to complain about the mocha. You're right. That is true. You shouldn't have... No, I don't like it. You should have kept it away and how it is. Well, you sh that's the point of life, you know? Not everything has to be perfect. If you're a perfectionist, you r get rid of everything that you originally love. It it's like censorship and everything. Uh, you're right, but I'm still going to complain anyway. I'm going to speak to your manager. No, that's Quinn's job. You do realize that's Quinn. Well, I can be a Karen too. It doesn't have to be her. Um, you don't have the evil eyes, though. Oh, sh shizzle nuts. See what you made me do, Daniela? You ruined everything. It's not my fault. I told you that I was going to get revenge on you. You never said anything about getting revenge on me. It doesn't matter. I can still do it to you anyway. Oh, and uh, also, guys, um, I'm not sure if you may know this, but... um. Of course, you know some of my characters, Milton and Ray. Oh, what the hell did she complain about? I guess it's the orange mocha. Ain't, ain't that right? I used the salted caramel syrup too many times? Oh, I guess I used that instead of the orange mocha. No wonder why. Alright, so anyway, so for my characters, Milton and Ray, I honestly like the two of them so much. And I kind of really want to start an original series with them for Papaway Pals. Like, you know, I would say that they're both friends and then they eventually became roommates and they're about to um, start their college life or something like that. And the characters are just going to be my Papa Wee Pal characters. Apparently the college that they go to, they are, they still see each other even after high school and all that stuff. Not everyone though, but there is, um, most of them though. So yeah, Milton and... Ray, they're just trying to uh, get through um, their college days and also like they go on wacky adventures and all that stuff and also Ray owns his own pretzel restaurants in which both Milton and Ray are the only workers there. So yeah, don't know how, don't know if I'm going to make it or not, but I definitely want to. Alright, Whippa. Oh, what did I do wrong? More censorship. They didn't want to tell me then. Alright, Mitch's mess. Much better than Spooky Shot. Uh, banana. Coal. Coal. Uh, cooker pressure. Uh, pen pencil. Celery. Cel oh, oh, shoot. I'm doing bad. Chicken wing. Chicken wing. Chicken wing. I did bad. Yep. Screw me. Oh, there was the coal. I saw it. I just saw it. Damn it. All right, Pinto, Pinto, there, marker, cookie sandwich, tomato, and another cookie. Cookies ahoy. Keep getting too many Bavaria Fest um, stuff. Actually, the one time I went to Germany, I've been to there twice, but I actually, um, oh god, I'm getting distracted. Uh, tips, plant, onion ring, I saw it. There, and then, there we go, pepper bomb. But yeah, the one time, the first time I went to Germany, there was actually a place that they said, if you take off your shirt and it's for the men, you're not getting served. But if the woman is the one that, took, that takes off the shirt, they're going to get a free drink. Oh, there we go. Forgot to add her whipped cream. Toppings added out of order, and mini mouths are poured unevenly. At least... At least she didn't go full on Karen on me as well, except she would have done it with her baddest bitch walk. Alright everyone, so I hope you really enjoyed the video and I will see you in the next time. So, enjoy the rest of your summer and I'll see you next time. See you my friend.